English. Now today this question says we should calculate or find the area of a regular hexagon that is inscribed in a circle of radius 8 cm. So let's go, let's see how to solve this problem. Now when you have a circle and they say that a regular hexagon is inscribed in that circle. What does that mean? It simply means that a hexagon that all the sides are equal. When they use the word regular, regular says or means that all the sides of that hexagon are equal. Then your next question should be what is a hexagon? A hexagon is simply a polygon with six sides. Okay, so if a polygon is inscribed, a six sided polygon is inscribed inside a circle, it simply means that the six vertices of that polygon is touching the circle ah uh, okay so i've just tried to give uh a kind of diagram but the diagram is not perfect but just bear with me okay i'm not an artist so just bear with me okay so now this is the hexagon now if i call each of the points A, B, C, D, E, F, and this is the center of the circle. Then they gave us the radius of the circle as 8 cm. So, which means I can map out a sector. Okay, I can map out a sector. This entire place is. O, A, B is a sector. So I can map out a sector. Okay? So, which means that if I really want to get the area of this hexagon, remember what we need to get is the area of the hexagon and not the area of the circle. So if I want to get the area of this hexagon, all I need to get first is the area of this triangle A, O, B. Do you know why? Because if I create more, more red eye, if I create more red eye, I'm going to get six more of this set of this sector AOD. I'm going to get six more of it. Okay. And in this sector, if I consider just this triangle, let's consider this triangle now, okay? Let's consider this triangle AOB. Discover that in this triangle AOB, if I can get the area of this triangle AOB, that same area will be the same as this, the area of triangle OBC, will be the same as the area of triangle OCD, and so on and so forth. So for me to actually get the area of this hexagon, I need to get this area of this triangle and multiply it by 6. Since we have 6 of the triangles, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let me get the area of this triangle. So let's go. Now, the area of a triangle, whenever you are given two sides, is given as an, an included angle. There's an angle here, angle theta. So whenever you are given an angle theta, the formula to use is half times a times b times sine theta this is the formula to use okay so let's go the a and b are the two sides and then the theta is the angle now remember the angle at the point is 360 so if 360 is divided into six equal parts that is 60 which means that our theta is equal to 60 degrees so now let's slot in everything now into this formula and then let's see the result so let's put everything and see the result are we ready so let's go so that will give us one over two times our a the first side eight our b the second side eight 
and then our C, which is our theta rather, which is what? Which is 60 degrees. Can you see that? Okay, so let's go. This is going to give us 1 over 2 times 8 times 8 is 64 times sine 60 is root 3 over 2. Okay, so let's go. Can, let me come here and solve the rest. So, which means that these two will cancel 64. 2 cancel 64, that gives us 32. And then times root 3 over 2. 2 also cancels 32, that gives us 16. So, we have 16 root 3. And then since the, this, this is now the area of this triangle AOB, okay? Now, since there are 6 of them, it means that we're going to have 6 times 16 root 3. And 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 1, so that gives us 96 root 3. So which means that the area of this triangle is 96 root 3 centimeters squared. The area of this hexagon, rather, is 96 root 3 centimeters squared. So that is how to get the solution to this. I hope you've gained value. Thanks for watching. If you think this video is beneficial, kindly share it, okay? And do have a good day. Bye.